and welcome. It's Kathleen from Cause Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone number three, guys. I am glad you're here. Just a couple more sleeps till I get to see my painting peeps and my fellow artists, which some of whom I have known for, well, since the beginning of my pouring journey just over two years ago, and some that are going to be new friends and I'm very excited about that. We are going to be doing a Swiping 101 class today. I'm going to be using the paints that we're going to be using at the Fluid Art Experience in our Swiping 101. We're actually doing uh, two color schemes and this is going to be one of them. We're working today on a edge canvas, which I absolutely love. This is a 10 by 10. And we're just going to do a cute little uh, cute little swipe, guys. We might get a little squiggly with it. I don't know. Let's see what the paints tell us. But I'm going to show you how I mix my paints. I've already mixed up my Artist Sloth White in this jug right here. We've got one part paint, two to maybe two and a half parts pouring medium. You don't have to be spot on, guys, as long as you've got that consistency right. What is that consistency? Well, it just leaves a little bit of a trace before it disappears into the paint below. Not quite as thin as a Dutch pour, not as thin as a pearl pour, not as thick as a ring pour, kind of right in the middle. At least that's what works for me, guys. Some people like it thinner, some people like it thicker. And that's part of the beauty of all of this. We're going to be using four colors today in addition to our Artist Sloth White Base Coat. We're going to be using Artist Sloth Metallic Cobalt Blue. And we're going to mix into it a little bit, like a drop or two of the golden turquoise in the fluid paints. One of my favorite color combinations right there, guys. We have everybody's sweetheart right here, DecoArt Americana Metallics in the 24 karat gold. DecoArt will be joining us in Dallas, Texas at the Fluid Art Experience, and I can't wait to pick their brains. They're good, good people, and I'm very proud to be an affiliate of DecoArt Paints. What else do we have here? Another wonderful paint, PBO Studio Acrylics, and this is their iridescent green yellow. Is that it? Yep, that's it. And the bottom of our cup right here, we have a big healthy splash of GAC 800. And then what I do is I add my paints. Let's start with this guy, which is brand new. We need to open this up, guys. Sorry about that. we go we're gonna add probably about less than a half an ounce in there put our little fluid art coaster stick in there next let's do our PBO studio acrylics in the green yellow these are both medium body paints guys very smooth very creamy then we're going to add our Deco Art 24 Karat Gold, which is a little bit bossy. I usually go kind of easy. Actually, let me get another container, guys. This one's not opened yet. You got to go a little easy with your Deco Art Metallic uh, 24 Karat Gold because she can be a little bit bossy, but a bossy paint can be a good paint. Let's add about the same amount in there. You don't need much paint when you're swiping, guys. But I always like to have extra because it works out really good. Then I swipe another canvas. And um, what else? Oh, this is extra. Now I want to mix these guys up first with the GAC 800. Give it a good stir until you've got a nice thick paint. These stir sticks get into all the nooks and crannies on you in your cups, guys. I love these stir sticks. Thank you, Fluid Art Co. 
And this limey green. I'll tell you, the first time I ever got this paint uh, by PBO, I was a little bit scared of it. I'm like, what am I going to do with that bright limey green color? But it plays so beautifully with this turquoise. See how nice and creamy goodness that is? We almost have kind of like a paste going on here. Let's mix up our 24 karat gold. An absolutely gorgeous paint, guys. And it mix, e mixes easy breezy. Let's take a look at that. Is that yummy goodness or what? <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the hue of this a little bit. I'm only gonna add a couple of drops of my golden turquoise. Stir that up, makes it a nice, rich, turquoise, blue-green. Isn't that yummy? That's yummy. Now I add my pouring medium. I've mixed my GAC 800, which is a wonderful product, helps with cracking, crazing, and has always been, uh, been very, very good to me. Pouring medium, 50% flood Floetrol that has been strained, 50% Liquitex pouring medium. And remember, we started out with a squirt of GAC in the bottom of the cup. So we're going to go ahead and add about an ounce and a half of our pouring medium. Now I keep a big old jug of this to my right and I mix it up about once a week. And then just for easy breeziness, I put it in here when I'm mixing small quantities of paint. If I'm mixing um, large quantities like my base coat color, I just take it right from my big jug. Stir, 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 stir and stir. Now we're still a little bit thick on that guy and probably a little bit thick on the other two. I apologize, Lito's in the other room barking. Let me check on him. Sorry about that guys, I am back. Lito was barking uncontrollably out there and Rick's not here so I got a little spooked. So I walked around to make sure that it was just me <laughs> in the house. Alrighty, so we have added our pour medium. We're giving everything a good stir. And then we're going to check our consistencies, guys. Now, as suspected, the Decor 24 karat gold is a little bit thicker than the other paints because it's a heavier body paint, but they're all still a little thick. So what you can do at this point is add some water, add some more pouring medium, add some GAC 800. Now my GAC 800 is not close by, so I'm gonna give everything just a little squirt, maybe a bigger squirt there in the, uh, 24 karat gold, give everything a really good stir. I love these cups, guys. I get them from Amazon. I love them because they're sturdy. When um, I'm done at the end of my painting, I always save some paint in case I need to embellish it. And then I take a larger cup and I just sink it down on top and it keeps it... Uh, just like here, all these paints next to me are leftovers from the last painting that I did. Then I have them close at hand when the painting dries, if anything got messed up or if I need to paint my sides, I've already got the paint close at hand. Just a little bit more water. We are looking for just a small trace when the paint rolls off the stir stick into the paint below and we have it here voila let's work on this uh green yellow this is such a pretty color combination guys and we are there so we're a squirt of gac 800 a half part paint two parts pouring medium which is 50% Floetrol, 50% Golden GAC 800, 
and a little squirt in the blue and the green and a bigger skirt squirt in the deco art which is a bit of a heavier bodied paint than the pbo and the uh, artist loft give that a good stir now guys i don't do this anymore but when you're first starting out i think it's kind of important to do your drip test so we're gonna do one today let me grab a paper plate now I'm going to try to put equal parts or close to it of this paint on the paper plate about the size. Oh, I don't know what that's the size of. <laughs> a half a penny, a big P. The green might be a little bit thinner. And then guys also put just a smidgen as well of our base coat because it's important that the base coat is not too thick. If anything, I like it a little bit thinner than my swipe colors. Let's go ahead and give that up. We need to put a little GAC 800 or a little bit of water into our base coat guys. So there you have it. That's a good consistency for your swipe. They're all roughly the same consistency. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of water in our base coat. We are swiping today with some damp paper towels, guys. And I think that's all I have to share with you. Let's put some tunes on, guys. Let's get busy.
that we can do at this point, guys. Um, stare at it for a while, decide if we want to kick it up a notch. Um, say you were happy with all of this, but you wanted to make some changes. You can do it once the painting is dry. For example, I always save some of my leftover paint and I store it right next to the piece of art that I created with it. I could go in after this dries and carefully brush on some more of the turquoise, which is not a bad idea whatsoever to really define the center line. I could add more turquoise in here now and tilt it and elongate these cells. Um, I really like this side. This side is okay. I could tilt it and pour turquoise paint down this center line, a good amount of it, and let it roll off so that we have a tremendous amount of negative space. But what I think I'm gonna do is clean up my sides because they need it and then I'm going to wait till this dries and I'm going to come in with a fine brush and there's turquoise paint and I'm going to accentuate this line down the middle. Carry the turquoise all the way across, get rid of this white and you have to do it very carefully in order to bring it up to those limey green cells that you see. So that's what we're going to do guys. Stay tuned and uh, we'll do it together. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back at you in a couple of days. Enjoy your evening.
'Cause you.